When you choose to live a simple life in a house in the middle of the forest, with no running water or a proper road to reach it, winter can be especially tricky. The water will freeze and the road will be covered in a blanket of snow. The first time we came to see the house, the first thing the real estate agent told us was not that the heating system was inexistent or that there was no running water. That came later. The first thing she told us was that to reach the house, there was no road. So to show us the house, she took us literally through the bushes on this, uh, let's call it path. And the house is up there. I think she was convinced that we would never buy the house. So she was just, you know, keep spinning bad news about it. So there was no eating, no water, no road. And it was some kind of test to see how far we were willing to go to get to this place and to buy this place. But in the end, no matter what she said, we bought the place. The no road part took its toll on us that first winter. We didn't have an ATV back then, so we built a sled using a pair of old skis. This one, to be precise. It was the only way to get whatever we needed to the house. It was either that or learn to fly. Today we have an ATV, so things are definitely easier. But I remember clearly those first months. It was really hard, but we fell in love with this place, so nothing seemed impossible. To buy a house in the Alps is not exactly cheap unless you are willing to face some compromises like very uncomfortable condition, isolation and the occasional blackout. If you are fine with those, then usually a reasonable price can be pulled off. But I have to tell you one thing, the worst part like, the absolute worst part of this was the no running water. It means that if you need to go pee in the middle of the night, and outside is like minus 10 degrees, you still need to go outside, because <laughs> you just don't have the water in the house. There were no pipes, no sewage system, nothing. So that was really the worst part of the whole thing. We have a stream that runs 10 meters underneath the house. It's a cold spring that never goes dry, but it can get frozen. There was an old pump in the house that was supposed to push the water straight from the spring up in the pipes, but it never worked.
So we opted for two big tanks that contains each about a thousand liters of water. We fill them up every now and then, and then a pump pushes the water up from there. We have a UV light sterilizer and a filter. The pipes and the tanks are insulated to avoid freezing, but sometimes it's just not enough. One thing for sure, the water tastes absolutely amazing. And when the system fails, we end up doing the dishes old style. The water is like seriously freezing. When we share with our friends the things we have to get through to live this simple life, everyone we know tells us we are crazy. And the question is always the same. Why do we face all of these challenges? The answer is simple, because we love it here. And as you might have heard, when you face uncomfortable condition or difficult challenges, like an ice cold bath or some extreme training, and you overcome them. As soon as you rest or are finished with them, dopamine gets released. The color gets brighter, the light shines more intensely. It is proved by science. I call it neuroscience for dummies. The harder you struggle, the greater the reward. And for us life here looks absolutely amazing. Talking about cold and struggles, I will share with you my thoughts. I will not address climate change or anything like it, but I will say this much. Here we are about 1300 meters above sea level, in the middle of the mountains. It's the middle of October and it feels like maybe it's the beginning of September or even the end of August. The leaves are not falling. Well, they should be all down now, it's just like the maple are the only one that's shedding uh, some leaves. The weather is warm and the forest is utterly confused. It worries me to see everything getting so mixed up. I truly love this place, I love this forest, but I wonder what's gonna be of all of this in a few years if things are not changing at all because I don't recognize this place. This summer we had here mosquitoes and wasps. We never had them before. This is the first year and they're not supposed to be here. So I'm just a bit concerned. As usual, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like and subscribe. I wish you an amazing day and until next time, take care. Ciao. Animals have started to collect everything. They should. They should be ready. They should. Seriously?